Chinese scientists are experimenting with a mutant COVID-19 strain that reportedly has a 100% kill streak in mice. The new strain is called GXP2V, and it attacks the brains of mice engineered to reflect similar genetic makeup to humans. With most mice living just eight days after being infected with this virus, researchers report the mice lost weight, became sluggish, adopted a hunched posture with their eyes turning completely white the day before they died. Now, this experiment, of course, brings back haunting memories from the 2020 pandemic. Let's bring in senior national correspondent Brian Enden, who is following this story, joins us live. Brian, the obvious question here, could this affect humans in the same way? Uh, well, we have to wait to find out that part of this. We've been looking over this research all day, Nicole, and obviously, like you said, anytime you hear about China, doing some kind of COVID research, it does uh, send off alarm bells, uh, you know, when you think back to the way the whole pandemic may have started. So, so there is some reason to be concerned about this. And you mentioned some of the, the symptoms that these mice in this lab in China uh, have after they were tested with this new strain of COVID. Lost weight, sluggish, eyes turned white. Uh, again, though, for us, I think the biggest concern is what kind of research are they doing? And is there the possibility of, uh, of another lab leak? Could that be a problem here? We spoke to an infectious disease doctor at Florida International University. Uh, she says it's too soon to be alarmed that it's possible this research could end up being good, could actually help prevent COVID in the future. Uh, this is what she had to say. The studies themselves are, especially if they are well done and well contained in appropriate laboratories, are very useful for helping us get ahead of natural changes that such that we can uh, produce appropriate um, monoclonal antibodies, appropriate um, different types of enzy um, enzyme inhibitors like protease inhibitors that can help us again get ahead and even produce better vaccines ahead of time before there's a major problem if it happens spontaneously. And you heard the doctor there, Nicole, say uh, if it's in an appropriate laboratory. I think that's the big question here. Uh, you know, what kind of protocols are they taking in this lab? Should there be concern that it could possibly lead to some kind of leak? We don't know the answers to those questions yet. One of the big questions, though, uh, has been about humanized mice. You mentioned that in your introduction. A lot of people never, I'd never heard of a humanized uh, mouse. Basically, they're, they're mice that are bred, uh, so their immune system is similar to humans. Uh, but the doctor we spoke with emphasized that there are still some, some major differences. But it's important to realize that they're still mice and um, and how a particular virus affects a mouse doesn't necessarily even a humanized mouse doesn't mean it's it's still a mouse. You know, it's not going to necessarily reflect what's going to happen in a human. Dr. Marty, who you heard from there from Florida International University, she says she was actually on a special team with United Nations that would go into laboratories around the world and make sure that they're following protocols and not doing anything dangerous. And she said, based on what she knows with the situation uh, in China, which we don't know a ton about, but based on the little information that, that we do have, she says she hopes that one of these teams will go in there uh, and make sure that, that everything is being done safely. Because again, when you hear China and you hear COVID and you hear mice and you hear new testing, um, it obviously gets a lot of people worried, Nicole. Uh, yes, it does. All right, Brian Inton, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.